So I complain about my wife because she doesn't have compassion with me. I also complain about my uh, business partner because he doesn't show respect. How many of you have had the thought that someone isn't showing you the respect you deserve? You thought those were your thoughts? That is pure ego. Those are our thoughts. <laughs> so, it doesn't feel like that. No, it doesn't feel like it because the ego, it really is identified as a you, the you you believe you to be. And in this case, you're the one that has not been respected. That's your identification. Yeah. And continue. Uh, I complain about my wife again because she's always critical and never positive. That's old, isn't it? That's very old. Well, I know her for a long time, so that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one? <laughs> I complain about my wife because she worries too much. Okay. Find this little yellow card. This is a business course. She has her own business, so. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have to. <laughs> if you're not getting along with your wife or your husband when you're, before you go to work, doesn't it affect your business day? Yeah, it does. Okay, so read that one again. Uh, I complain about my wife because she worries too much. Now, I'm going to follow this card, okay? Your wife worries too much. Is that true? Well, she could worry more or less, so it's not too much. Okay. Your mind, it opened up. So continue to consider your wife worries too much. Can you absolutely know that it's true that she worries too much? No, because when she worries, she does do it anyway, so... Okay, so, so what's going on here? Remember, the answer to the first two questions is only one syllable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so your mind, you know, it's like trying to protect itself, the ego trying to protect itself. Mm -hmm. It's not right or wrong, it's just about noticing. Mm -hmm. So let's start over. Your wife worries too much. Is that true? No. Your wife worries too much. How do you react? What happens when you believe that thought? I get irritated. Um, I feel a lack of optimism. Uh, sometimes I feel depressed. Um, I want to shout at her, or I, I do actually shout at her. I even get mad at the children when she is when she is expressing her worries. So that's how I react, and I want to I want to go away and go outside. And be alone. What I'm experiencing now is your courage. You know, you have, you're really, it seems to me, thoroughly answering that third question, how you react when you believe the thought. You see those images in that same situation, who would you be without the thought she worries too much? This is the question, some of you experience compassion because you really can see that person look into their eyes and, and listen to the words that they're actually saying as she worries and worries and worries. Do you hear her words? You see her eyes? Who would you be without the thought she worries too much? The thing is, she phoned me this morning because our eldest daughter is sick. And she was really like, what should I do? Should she go to school? How, how should I be with her? And then I felt, I'm not sure if it's compassion, but that I could be with her on the phone, with her worries. I could really care for her, for her worries. Yes. You know? Yes. I'm not sure if it's compassion. It feels like caring. Yeah. It's like being in contact, being... Intimate, connected. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, rather than distant, worried or... and distant and wanting to hang up. Very different. I, I just had done the work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you phoned, so. <laughs> yeah, good, good, yeah. It seems to work somehow. <laughs> yeah. 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 
So with the thought, you become worried. Mm -hmm. yeah. And without the thought, you can hear her, and it doesn't become all about you. Mm 